Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> Actually, can you pull that like closer, closer. to your? Yeah. yeah. Let me scoot over. It's like it's like sensitive to where yeah you're gonna want to talk yeah. like. This right is probably about it. as far as you want to get away from it. But yeah, okay. if you can like be like up on it. Yeah, let me, there you go. Is that better? It's preferable. Yeah, I, I could hear right. you great. Cool. I'm going to take one last uh, snack swig. <laughs> yeah, a little snack break. I like that. No <laughs> alarm. It is. It's not like terrible, but like you can definitely hear it. Stop. <laughs> I love the sensitivity of these things. It's so funny to me. It Can is I have there? a sip of that, actually? Yeah. Cool. This is a weak intro, but... It kinda, we'll actually kind of tastes funny because I left it sitting in my car for a couple days. I think, like, the plastic might be, like... I think that's how you get cancer. Affected, Will. I tan. I jeweled for a while, so I think if I'm getting cancer, I'm already going to have cancer at this point, so... But you can attribute it to these so that jewel doesn't lose any money. Yeah, I'll just, like, sue plastic companies and all of them. Like, hey... I'm okay. happy you said that because I have a cancer. weird thing with that. I have with a weird what? thing with like plastic and sun. Yeah. Actually, it's not even weird. It's just I heard one time that it was cancer provoking, and I was yeah. Like, no, that's that's true. I'm staying away from like that. if you uh like if you use I guess like plastic bottles too many times because I'm really bad about like I don't like re like using reusable water bottles for some reason. Like I'm just really weird uh -huh. about it. I just don't prefer them. I prefer plastic. But then it like it's really contradicting because I love the earth. Like I want to help the environment. Uh -huh. But plastic is terrible for the earth. And they're like, there's a big movement of like trying to cut down plastic, like no straws and whatnot. Yeah, totally. So I'm really bad about reusing like plastic water bottles for like, I'll just like fill them back up. You terrible but human being. No, but I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, but like if you let them sit in the sun or like the elements, like the plastic breaks down. I've heard. And then it like, breaks in, down into, into the, water, the water. Yeah. And, like, you drink it and like. That's so, terrible for you. I mean, those are two incentives for you to quit drinking plastic water bottles. I'll just drink, stop drinking water. And I don't think that's the right it's choice. Not true. It's, <laughs> that's definitely the wrong. No, choice. I have a buddy. He has a he, his Instagram bio or like one of his social media platform mm -hmm. bios are, if you use plastic water bottles, then reconsider your life. And I was, I was like, wow, yeah. it's a it's a strong statement. Mm -hmm. No, but I know. I think um, he's speaking about you specifically, though. You know what? Probably because I'm feel like I'm getting attacked right now. <laughs> no, I know. Um, I think it's like Panda Express and the PSU. Um, they don't give you straws anymore. No, oh, really? At all? Yeah, and I know like all the dining halls. They don't. They don't do straws either. You have to like buy a metal straw. It's like a dollar, I think. No so way. Like yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I, I I know I've seen those metal straws, but I didn't mm. realize like they're literally quit doing it. That's yeah. that's actually really cool. I think like Chick Fil A still gives them. I think Subway still gives them. So that means people are just gonna walk from but, one place. Yeah, to you're just gonna go down until you like, shut hey, all yeah, of them like, down. Okay. Hey, can I get a straw? Like, as far yeah. as that immediate little yeah, cafe. I mean, kudos to them because they're trying. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really help when other places on campus have. But that's it. also gonna incentivize like the the remaining places to cut down their straw consumption because their mm -hmm. straw prices are probably gonna go up like a fuck ton. Yeah. True. I would assume so, at least. Like, like, because then more people are going to be demanding their straws yeah, like, because so they're, they're gonna like, have to yo, increase. I need some straws. Yeah, they're going to have to fork more money out to buy straws. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't ever, like, I think I ate a panda, like, twice this whole month. And, um, yeah, I never went to go get a straw from somewhere else. Because, yeah. like, like, I think about it. I'm like, oh, they don't offer straws because I'm trying to save the turtles. And then you're like, like oh, I'm a terrible human being if like, I go yeah, get I a straw. Wanna, yeah, like, I do want to save the turtles. It's good to be, like, conscious of this shit, though, because I, yeah. like, I feel like for years, like, people weren't even thinking about, like, you know, their their imprint, like, their impact mm -hmm. on the earth. And, like, yeah. okay, when I, when I take this, it's like, hey, I'm using resources right now. Mm -hmm. Like, people aren't even, like, consciously aware of that. Yeah, no, is, uh, not at all. Well, that's a weird thought. It is, and I I think I read a quote somewhere, like somebody said it, talking about how, like, when people time travel and they go to the future, they're always like, oh, like, don't do little things here or there because it'll, like, drastically impact the course of things. Like, and when, by the time we get to this point in real time, it'll be different. And then, like, you go back to real time and people are like, oh, like, if I do something little, it's not going to make a difference. I don't it's think like, I'm following you. Okay, like, so, it's like an abstract, like, hypothetical, I'm assuming? Yeah, so, like, okay. it's like... If you time travel in the future, have you seen like in a movie when people time travel in the future and they're like, 
don't do this little thing or like don't change this because uh, it'll affect real time. Do you get you follow me? You okay? So like so like we're, like let's just say like we're here. Um, okay, and like wait, wait, they're saying it'll affect the past. Yeah, so like let's say like we jump ahead like five years from now, um, and I'm like, hey, don't do that because you're gonna affect time, and like this moment will not exist in five. Wouldn't years. that be if they go to the past though? Either either way, like either way, they're just like don't like uh, don't do it because it'll it'll change it'll change the, the course of events. So wait, wait, are like, the people from the future going to the present? Yeah. No. Oh uh, my God. No. Wait. The people from the present are going to the future. Yeah. Or the past. How Either does or, the future I read affect it, the past? Though? I read it both ways. Like, okay. So then, like, when they go back to real time, can we just run with the past one? Yeah. Okay. That, fine. that makes if sense that makes to more me. Sense. Okay. Okay. So then they're like, "Don't do that because you're going to change time, and it's going to yeah. it's going to mess up everything." So then they get to real life, like real time, and people like, just like even in today, like real society, people are like. Oh, if I do this small little thing, it's not going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. But it does. Like, every little thing you do, I, 10 out of 10, believe, like, impacts your life or somebody else's life. Mm. It's like, if you go to the store, like, let's just say, like, I go to Walmart. Like, every person there, whether or not I interact with them or not, like, there's a reason that they're there at the same time that I'm there. Which I think is kind of weird to think about. I think about that a lot. Yeah. I, I always think, like, I wonder if as something somebody's doing way over in, like, New York. Uh-huh. I wonder if they're doing something that impacts, like, what I'm doing right now. Yeah. You know, like, the butterfly uh -huh. effect or, like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. like, the Eastern interpretation of karma mm -hmm. is, like, cause and effect. Yeah. Like, every action is a reaction and every reaction is an action itself. Mm-hmm. Which is such a weird fucking thought because, like, <laughs> yeah. but it's so true. Like, like any, any point you want to put in your life, like, from the start, whether it be five years old, like, it's all a reaction. Mm-hmm. It's all just part of like the ebb and flow and uh, to yeah. be like conscious or at least more conscious of that and uh, bring that to your awareness at least a little bit to be like, yo, like this does have an impact. Like I'm, I'm just a node in a network and yeah. my impact is immeasurable at times, like especially with the Internet. It's like I don't know, like like with this podcast, for example, like I just enjoy doing this. So I'm like I'm just going to have cool people on or people I find cool, sit down, have a conversation, upload to YouTube. Don't think about it. But it's like I have the ability potentially to like impact like way more people and mm -hmm. than just a conversation if we were sitting in my like I don't know, in my uh I can't not think of the name of that room. Your bedroom. Our family room. Your bathroom. Family room. <laughs> okay. Bathroom. Yeah. If we're, if we're sitting, sit talk we're, your bathroom, you're sitting but... on the sink and I'm sitting on the toilet. Yeah. And I mean, we did that in the kitchen casually. that one night. You were yeah, like cooking and I was just like hang yeah, I was just hanging out. True. Yeah. But uh yeah, if we do that then like it's it just like it's so weird to think like it, it has way more of an impact than it does or yeah. like than it could have in the past with but the I internet think, yeah like with i know like with a couple of our comers like topics that we've talked about just like previously um it's like made me kind of like wonder like i'll think about it after i leave and it's like hmm, I've never really like, never really thought about it that way mm -hmm. or like you like yeah like he has a fair point like that's a valid point and like it makes me like not question what I think about it, but I just like consider it more mm -hmm. than what I would have because I have someone else's feedback from it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or just just a different way of viewing it. Mm -hmm. Which I love to do. Like I love to just like sit and pick people's brains. Like why? Like why do you see it that way? It's fucking important because most yeah. things are like more ambiguous than we realize. Mm -hmm. Like there's no one definitive right answer for anything. I don't think. Yeah, the only thing I could think of is, like, maybe, like, math. But like, even then, like, there's different ways to get the answer for. Like yeah, true. True. Different two, methods, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think, I think the only thing that's, like, super solid is, like, the laws of science. Like, the law of gravity, for example. Uh -huh. You can't really, like, disprove that. Like, I mean, you could try, but... But you could manipulate it if you take the yeah. amount of mass in the Earth. That's true. Or something. That's very true. I don't know. Uh, yeah, like, I get what you're saying, though. Like, the, yeah. the laws of physics, like, the laws mm -hmm. of the universe. Yeah. But then whenever you go to the quantum level, then they, those switch up that, to, like, a level that we don't even fully comprehend. Right, right, right. But that's, I'm assuming that's probably the same thing. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. know. I, don't I don't fucking know. know. <laughs> that's uh, way yeah, We were talking like, about that before. I, I don't base, get that don't shit know. at all. No, me either. But I think it's also just because I haven't really put that much thought into it, like, I've just, like, done, like, the basic sciences you could present with in school. I've yeah, never same. really, like, went outside and been, like, 
Oh, that's interesting. I want to like teach myself that. Like, I don't just like read textbooks for fun. I don't really know anybody that does, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I mean, I would love to learn though, or like string theory that we were talking about. I think it'd be really cool uh-huh. to like learn more about that because I think that's really fascinating. Like, there's people that actually like hardcore believe in that. Like, I think they're pretty few and far between, but yeah, I I, I got into like a. I don't know, it was probably like two weeks where I watched a lot of, like I was saying, like talks on mm. that kind of topic. And it's really interesting. It's really interesting. Yeah. But it's so, whenever you kind of understand it, it's like, you don't, you don't get it at all. Like I get <laughs> yeah. the, I get the very like basic elements of the most basic parts of mm-hmm. it. Like, and I, I can give like a very brief explanation on some of those topics, but I just feel like I know nothing about any of it. I feel like there's a lot of topics where it's like, I know enough to understand it, like to make sense of it in my own head, but I could not regurgitate it and explain it to somebody else. Yeah, I get that. I get like, that a no lot. There's no way yeah. that I can explain that. To, like I understand it in my own head. I get like the basic concept of it, but even like so I was struggling to sit here and explain it to you, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah, I really yeah. I don't know. It's like, so, I, and like you may have even like put in like an hour worth of work to like learn what that is, and mm-hmm. like, and you're like, yeah, like, I still, I still don't fully get it, or like I can't. Yeah regurgitate that information like you said like i feel like that's like a skill in itself is learning learning something with the intention of repeating it mm-hmm. or teaching it to somebody else like yeah that is that's something really difficult that's really difficult yeah and no, i think that kind of goes back to uh, like people are natural teachers over others if that makes sense like what do you mean like certain people are born with that skill like they don't have to acquire that like they're just natural born teachers like they already have that knowledge base i guess in a way of how to teach and like present information to others on their level you really think that's like an innate trait that you can just acquire really yeah 100 percent. i've never thought about that yeah because i know a lot of people that it's just like they'll try and sit there and explain something to me and i don't get it at all but then somebody else will explain it to me and i get it right off the bat do you think it's it's like like a charisma thing do you think it's like a communication thing do you think it's uh I think it's both. Like, I think it all depends, like, on how you communicate with somebody. But I think it also goes down to, um, like, that the teacher's ability to break it down to the student's knowledge base. Like, yeah, if you're, totally. like, way smarter than me and you don't know how to break it down to my knowledge level. Everybody knows that professor yeah, that's, like, that's like oh, no, they're, like, literally too smart to be teaching. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, like, they don't know how to talk to, like, Like, professors my level. aren't even, like, technically qualified to be teachers when you think about it. Like, they have no teaching degree. At all, yeah, like, really? just, like experts. I knew nothing about professors. Yeah, like professors I just like, show up like, to class and leave. Like universities, uh-huh. like they don't have it. Most of them don't have a teaching degree. Really? Yeah, like they're just like experts in their field <clears throat> that have come to the university. Like, it's not really research. that surprising to me. Okay. Like they just so, come for research and then they're like, "Oh yeah, hey, by the way, we're gonna fund your research, but you also have to teach classes." Oh, uh, okay. They do that. Like the majority of them don't have teaching degrees. I think like this certain ones, like depending on the like the subject matter. They do, but the majority of them don't. My astronomy teacher I ref soccer with recently. Like showed up to a soccer game and I'm like I'm like, You look familiar. Like I've I've definitely <laughs> seen you, but like I don't know, like I just had him so associated with that class that I wasn't able my brain wasn't able to interpret where I had seen him from. Yeah. I'm like, Fuck man, like I've seen you somewhere. And then uh I just like looked at him for a little bit. He's like, Do you go to Missouri State? I'm like, Yes, I do and he's like did you have astronomy? And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, I was probably your professor. And I was like, yes, you're right. Yes, <laughs> I remember you for sure. I think that's also weird. Like when you see people that you know, you know, but you're like, God, I don't know where I went and where I know them from. I think yeah. that's also kind of weird. Like what causes that lapse? I, I think like, a lot of it was association with him, like association with a, like you, you associated with this place. So like five years down the road, if mm-hmm. you saw somebody that you didn't necessarily know super well, but you know who they are, you know their face, yeah, and you know them from Springfield, but you're living up in Chicago, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, okay, like I know that person, but I have no idea where I know you from. And then you're you're probably like the way you guys are probably gonna reconnect the dots is like, uh, did you live in St. Louis at any point? Uh, yeah. Did you ever? Did you ever, uh, where'd you go to college at? And then like, oh, you went to college at most state. What years? And it's like, okay, that's probably where I met you at. Yeah. And then, and then you have it like narrowed down to like that specific area mm-hmm. in that specific point in your life. And it's like, okay, now, now you can start kind of like shooting the arrow in the dark for like where it may sense. be. I think, yeah. And I kind of like what you're saying is it goes back to like 
the strength of the connection with the individual like beforehand. Mm-hmm. Like if I saw you like ten years from now, I would recognize you. Same, like, just same. Like, like we hung out a couple times. Oh, I was talking about whatnot. recognizing myself. Okay. I, I think I'd recognize myself. I, I hope. Would hope so. I hope I don't have Alzheimer's. Fuck but that. No, no. Like certain people, like just like if I see them on campus, but I've never talked to them. I don't know if I'd ever recognize them if I saw them. Like if I saw them like this week out in public be like i think they go to most state mm-hmm. like 10 years from now mm-hmm. wouldn't even give it a second thought yeah true true so, yeah that's that's fair i agree with that yeah yeah it's, i feel like it's a uh, yeah yeah strength strength of it yeah because i wouldn't even give certain people a second thought like you said no not at all well you want to talk about the uh <clears throat> wait what i was like yo let's ha- oh thinking thinking Thinky. yeah yeah <laughs> like no, no, I like just uh, the sound. Okay, we need to we need to remove any conceit and like pompous persona about this because it okay. sounds very conceited coming does, from us. But I think it does. I okay. I would this. It's a, it's a, I think it's just a sense of awareness is what it is. A sense of awareness enough like, to question of, your of external surroundings or like, what? Both. Like, what I think it's like, I know that I'm a thinker. Like, uh-huh. I, I just know that. Like, it's just a sense of awareness. How about this? I'll say you're a thinker and you say and I'm a thinker. thinker. How about right. that? Okay. But is we that, think alike. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take right. that. We'll take that. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, it, no, because I, mean, I, I feel there's just, like, such, like, a douchey. There is. Like, I'm smarter than you. Like, I, I think yeah. I'm a dummy, but I also think I'm a thinker. I I, I, yeah. I agree. Like, I, I don't think I know anything, but I think I'm, like, <laughs> I think I'm intelligent enough to question my external surroundings, but I don't think I'm intelligent enough to claim i know everything because i don't fucking know anything if there's anything i know it's that i don't know <laughs> it's like i just don't know much it's like one of those things that you know a little bit about a lot like i know i feel like i know a little bit like i know a lot of just like random facts for no mm-hmm. reason like they're never gonna help me in life I'm i feel like a lot of people in them. our generation just know a little bit about yeah a lot. so it's like you have like a basic understanding of like a bunch of just random shit that uh, you have no use for at all but enough yeah. to have a conversation about typically yeah yeah but I, I don't know. Have you ever thought like, but like you said, like some people just don't think about things like they, yeah. maybe it's a lack of awareness and it's really hard for me to connect with those people. Cause it's uh, I don't know. It's just like, like how it, can you not wonder if there's more? I think I've always mm-hmm. wondered like, how is it that there's certain people that like just aren't curious? Like, or just question certain things. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. why are, like, why I, are I think some just people that so, different ways. so content with just one answer? Because someone told him that. Like, I can sit here and tell you the sky is blue. Mm -hmm. The sky is blue. We both know that. But why are you so willing to believe me just because I say it's blue? Like, why not question it? Okay, yeah. Like, just just because I tell you, like, what gives me the credibility to tell you that it's blue? Just because I see it with my own eyes, like, that's not really a valid... It's like an obedience thing. Like, obedience is great. And it's definitely rewarded at times. Mm -hmm. Depending on culture, I guess, as well. But... I don't know. It's just like obedience isn't the greatest attribute at times no. as well. I think it's I think it's actually something I try avoiding with a uh, with a lot. And it's it's weird because it's like when you try avoiding and it's like I don't know. I it, there are times where I like I definitely try with try to work with obedience. Like work right. is definitely it's and like yeah, okay, I need a situation. paycheck and like I'm yeah. kind of whenever I'm dependent on something. Mm-hmm. Whenever I'm dependent on something, I can play the game. I can right. be obedient if mm-hmm. I need to. But like. If I'm not necessarily dependent on something, then, like, I'm the exact opposite. It's, like, how can I be different? How can I, like, yeah. defy things? How can I, like, think about this differently? I think it also depends on the severity of the, the consequence. Like, what you're saying, like, if you disobey at work, like, what's the, like, what's the consequence? You're either going to get, like, written up, fired, like, lose your paycheck. Like, ultimately, like, I think it depends. Whereas, like, I remember that one night when we were going over to Alex's. And you were, like, going to go down the street that said, do not enter. That's only for the bear line. I was like, Jordan, you like you cannot go down there. And you're like, why not? I'm like, you c-. and there was a car coming, and it was actually a cop. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah I do remember I was that. Like, I'm glad that was, was the only reason I didn't go down there. Yeah, because the car. Yeah, it's like, it crazy. I definitely have that thing where I do what I want. I yeah, definitely. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I. And then also, yeah, I, I also didn't need to go down there because there was that road right up there. But yeah, yeah, yeah anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny, but uh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know. But I think it also comes down to, like, the nature versus nurture, I guess, in a way. Like, I know for me personally, like, I think I've always been a thinker. Mm-hmm. Like, I think even as a child, I remember even just, like, 
not necessarily like a certain gray or certain age, but just being younger, I've always wondered like. So why is that? Yeah, I've always that's like my mom used to always like make fun of me because when I was a child, I was always asked the question why. Like she'd give me an answer and I'd be like why. She'd give me another answer and I would just keep asking why. Um, and so I think I've always been that way as a child. Like in I think it was like first grade, my teacher thought I was autistic. No, like, she, like yeah, she like called my mom, and was like hey like we need to have a meeting. Mom was like okay. And, like, I'd always been, like, an A student, like, never got in trouble, never broke the rules, uh -huh. perfect student. So my mom went to the school, and she was like, yeah, like, she doesn't play with anybody, like, she doesn't interact, she just, like, sits and, like, watches. She has autism or something like that, and my mom was like, she's fine, like, just leave her alone. Uh -huh. She doesn't want to, like, when she wants to play with the kids, like, she will, you know? Like, that's just how she is. My younger sister, so, yeah, she got a, she got a same, same exact scenario. She's yeah. like... like Teacher like kind of went out of her way to tell her that she might have autism, mm -hmm. and my mom was pissed at that teacher. My yeah. mom was not happy. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like it's not really like their place. Like, be like, hey, I've noticed something off about your child. Like, that's different versus like trying to diagnose them. I don't know if this was the same deal with your school, but like with the school that we went to, we looked into it a little bit, and they get paid if they like can diagnose a kid. Oh, I don't know. Something don't along know. those lines. I don't know, like, ex weird. the exact specifics, but there was, like, an incentive for her to, like, diagnose kids with autism. It's kind of fucked up. Something like that, yeah. It was a really, really bizarre thing, whatever it was, yeah, but... that's weird. I've never heard that before. I can't necessarily recall, like, the details on that or, like, the specifics, but... Yeah. And it, like, but same deal. My little sister's, like, mm -hmm. very, very... Very intelligent, straight A student. Yeah. Uh, but like, like outside of the classroom, she's not one of those dummies that gets straight A's either. She's like, uh, she's like actually really smart too outside of the classroom. Yeah. Uh, which I value a lot because, well, that's another topic in itself. Honestly, is just I feel like there are just some people that are so obedient to where they will work their asses off, get straight A's, but they're fucking stupid. Like. Yeah. Well, it's I, like street smart versus book smart. Yeah. Like, that's so weird. Like, why are some people more street smart than others? Like, more book smart. Some people probably put in the time this way. Or some people put in the I time this way. I don't know. But I don't know. Because, like, I know my sister, like, I love my sister, like, not to, like, diss on my sister. But she's never, like, excelled in school. Like, she's an average, like, mediocre. But I know, like, she's always struggled in math. Mm -hmm. Always. Like, she will sit and, like, would do hours of math homework and could never pick it up. Whereas me, like, I've always excelled in math. Like, um, math has always, like, just come easy to me. Like, I would do my sister's math homework for her. And, like, we were in the same math classes, and I'm, a year, like, a grade below her. Uh -huh. And I've always just, like, excelled. And for some reason, she's always struggled. And she's put in more work than I have. So I don't hmm. know. I think it, maybe it depends on the person, like, person by person. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I never thought about it that way. Yeah. But like sibling, I think sibling comparisons are also a topic to think about. They're really weird because it's like they have the same exact parents, mm -hmm. same exact environment, mm -hmm. and they're so fucking different. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's really interesting. Like me and my sister could not be more opposites. Really? And everybody that we know will tell you that. Yeah, like my parents have said it. My sister, me and my sister don't necessarily talk about it just because we know it. Like we don't. I feel like we don't uh -huh. feel the need to discuss. Do you guys like, get along? Yeah, yeah. I mean, growing up, like. We fought just like any other normal siblings, but now, like, I think it's just because I've moved away and I'm kind of like doing my own thing. Like, I've kind of distanced myself from my family quite a bit. Like, whereas my sister, like, talks to my mom every day, if not several times a day, like, still lives in the same town, like, relies on my parents for quite a few things. Whereas me, like, I moved four hours away right out of high school. I enlisted right out of high school, like, went off. How old is she? Thing. She's 21. She just turned 21 in December, and I turned 20 in June. She go away to school? She goes to SEMO, so no, she's she's still in, like, home. Mm. So she's, Yeah, like, you do live where SEMO is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas, like, me, like, right after high school, like, I enlisted, went off, did my own thing, came back, like, moved to Missouri State, which is four hours away from my parents, and, like, do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I talk to my mom maybe probably, like, once or twice a week. Okay. Maybe. Like, sometimes more, like, depends on, like, what's going on, but i say average probably, like, once a week. So I think that's weird. Like, we have the same environment, like, been through all the same stuff together, but we're so different. But I know some siblings that are exactly alike. Like, you can't tell one sibling from the other personality-wise. Mm -hmm. So I think that's also I feel like it's different about. responses or similar responses to the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, same exact method of of parenting or... Yeah. Or maybe, maybe they treated her different at times and they treated you different at times. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I've kind of noticed that, like, growing up, I think, 
Lindsay has the same personality as my mom. And I think so that kind of has made them closer than what me and my mom are. Mm-hmm. Like me and my mom have never been close, even as a child, like growing up my whole entire life, we've never been close. Mm-hmm. But I think ever since I moved away, we've gotten closer. But yeah. I, think, I think it's because I moved away. Like I, they're not constantly hounding me, you know, like, what are you thinking? Like, what's wrong? What's going on in your life? It's just uh-huh. like they wait for me to come to them. And my, mom, my mom's even told me, she's like, I don't bombard you because I know that when you want to talk to me, like you'll call me you'll come to me. Mm. And I like, I appreciate that so much more because when people constantly hound me, like it drives me insane and it makes me not want to talk. And then versus your sister might like it when somebody's constantly hounding you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's just, it's kind of like a, uh, what's like classical conditioning. Like Mm -hmm. for you, it's like a punishment to where your response is like, yo, stop. Like yeah, stop like doing you're that. You're annoying the shit out of me. Like same method. Making me less then, inclined. Then your sister, she just becomes more obedient. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm talking hypotheticals. I'm no, not talking no, specifics. No, I but, agree with that though. Okay, but yeah, I mean, but I think it's also knows. personality because I like my personality. Like I'm very reserved. Like mm-hmm. I'm a thinker. Like I sit and I watch people and I think. Versus, and I don't really like say what I'm thinking a lot of times. Like it depends on the person. You know, like I'm not just gonna have like the conversations we have I won't have them with everybody it depends on the person and so I think that kind of comes down to it as well whereas like Lindsay doesn't really as far as I know doesn't have the same thoughts I do she doesn't have the same thought processes of things you're gonna be an old woman in Central Park New York prime time just what like sitting there playing chess having conversations and just staring yeah just staring people watching I love that people watch like, what makes people do the things that they do? And a lot of people, like, when you bring up the fact that they have a certain habit, like, they don't even notice it. Um, They're like, oh, I never knew I did that. And I'm like, yeah, you do. Yeah, All yeah. The time. And I think that's weird. I was talking about that with my buddy recently, like, being able to uh, kind of observe yourself from a third-person point of view mm-hmm. to kind of, like, take a step back and be like, oh. And you, you just kind of, like, analyze your own habits, your own proclivities, your own, like, I don't know, just, like, opinions, like, whatever it may be. And, like, to do that, like, internally mm-hmm. and somewhat objectively, I mean, to the best of your ability, it's a, it's a really weird concept. But, like, I feel yeah. like it's extremely important because if you can see yourself how other people see you, then you can be more critical and, and improve upon yourself. Yeah. But yeah. I agree with that. It's such a weird thought, though. But I think that also, I don't know, do you think people, if – everybody had that ability or thought about it that way do you think they would put more importance on the way people think of them like if someone was so obsessed with it that they were like i want to know how people see it like yeah, they I would could, like they, they would like alter themselves i could i could others. see that because i feel like there's like an insecure way to go about it and then there's mm-hmm. like a you know it's just like okay i want to improve like just like yeah. I, it, this all plays upon the intention of improving myself and improving who i am mm-hmm. So there's definitely a very overly critical point of view that you could just like beat yourself up internally and just like, yo, I need to change. I need to change. I need to get better. And then there's like the other point of view to where it's like, um, uh, it's like, Hey, this is something that should probably change. There's a better way to do this. No worries, bro. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I still love you, man. (laughs) Yeah. And then be able to like switch that up a little bit. Yeah, you have to, like, recognize, I think, like, the negative and the positive traits of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to differentiate, I think. Yeah, without letting it, like, beat you up. Without letting it be a a negative. But, I mean, just to, like, accept, like, hey, I'm not perfect. It's fine. But this this is something that would make me better than I was if I didn't change. Yeah, Yeah, I agree with that. Like, hey, I have this trait. It sucks, but I'm going to change it. Like, I Mm -hmm. feel like if you notice that you have the trait and you want to change it that almost like makes it a positive in a way like goes full circle Uh uh-huh because it's like you recognize it's like you have a problem you admit your problem and you like make the change yeah it's kind of like the like i feel like the self-critic side's focusing more on the problem Mm -hmm. and the other side's focusing more on the solution yeah but it's it i guess what i'm mainly talking about is the identification of that problem Mm -hmm. and like bringing it to light like hey, this is a problem versus Mm -hmm. like some people are just too, too uh, in the way of themselves, like with their own pride and ego and whatnot. And they're like unwilling to admit their faults. But if you have the ability, the willingness and the, uh, 
Yeah, really just the capabilities. Mm -hmm. I, I guess, yeah, I guess the capabilities and the, the willingness to uh, be able to admit your own faults so that you can identify that problem and move forward then. Yeah, without letting it, I guess, like affect your ego in a way. Mm -hmm. Like tear you down, be like, damn, I suck as a person and like. Or, or just like your, maybe it. not your ego, but like your self-confidence. Yeah. Like your yeah, own. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a better word. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I, feel, I, I just feel like a lot of people use ego and confidence like synonymously. They kind yeah, of they are, do. but they kind of aren't. I, I use I use ego like synonymously with pride. Yeah. I, I think pride is like that's a the, huge yeah, that's fault. That's a better comparison. Um, yeah. Well, I think it's good to be proud to an extent, but it's just like it's kind of a slippery slope. It is. It's one of those things. It's like you want to be prideful, but you don't want to be arrogant. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people like they mistake pride for arrogancy, and it's like i love when people are proud of something like you do something be proud of it like, uh -huh. don't let people tell you like oh you're average a lot of girls your age makes that up they don't oh, understand yeah, that sure. within guys that's why they like cocky guys sure. but they don't understand that those cocky guys aren't necessarily the most confident they're looking for confidence but they're mm -hmm. misinterpreting the cockiness for confidence right no i've, <laughs> I've come across that a few times with a couple guys and it's like and i've wondered that with myself like i'm like are you cocky or arrogant like are you just trying to show off like your accomplishments and you just don't know how to do it in a way mm -hmm. that comes across more appealing and less asshole-ish than okay. what you are, you know? Yeah. I have wanted that though. Yeah. I, I think know. it's a lot of it's like, it comes down to communication. Like a lot of people don't know how to communicate effectively, like yeah, to get their message across. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, I don't, I feel like I've gotten better over the years. Excuse me. I don't think I burped, but I feel like I had to burp. And I didn't <laughs> want away. I didn't want away. Okay, we're good. Uh, no, I feel like... Um, oh, fuck, I forgot where I was going with that. Communication. And over the years, you've gotten better. Oh, I've gotten better at, like, detecting when somebody's full of shit. Like, whether they're actually confident, whether they're just putting on some, like, facade. Yeah. I can usually detect that pretty quick now. Versus, I mean, yeah, like, before, I, that, I wasn't really necessarily capable of that. I think, it, yeah, it depends on the person and i think it also depends on how many people you interact with. like how many times you've been in that situation where it's like you're full of shit yeah like it comes with yeah. experience i think and how like how good of a liar the person is because there's some people that are like really good liars it's mm. like first of all why are you such a good liar like, why have you <laughs> lied so that's many scary times? right like you're good at it yeah, yeah it's fucking scary i don't like that either yeah no that's really... i think it's like my biggest i wouldn't say pet peeve but like Something that, like, lights my fuse so fast is when people lie to me. Like, there's not very many things, like, make me mad. Like, I'm pretty chill most of the time, but that's one of them. Honesty is a virtue. Like, oh, It's God. difficult to tell the truth, but it's necessary. It's always necessary. And it's like, if you don't want to tell me, just don't bring up the topic. Mm -hmm. Like, don't put yourself in a situation where yeah. you feel like you have to lie. Well, that's just, another like, weird concept is it. hiding the truth. Like, Like, what are the ethics behind that? It's like... If you know the truth and you know the consequences of that truth, is it what, what's your ethical obligation? Like, do you share that information, or do you just keep it to yourself? Like, if yeah, it's something true. like like a big deal like thing, it's like just say it. Like, don't, um, just don't keep it a secret. But like, because then somebody, you're just as in the wrong, in my opinion. But I think if it's like something simple, like everyday thing, like it's not really gonna affect multiple people in a drastic way if you mm. don't want to tell me and i'm gonna find out on my own just let me find out like if you don't feel comfortable telling me don't tell me but but don't lie to me either uh -huh. just don't bring it up it's hard it's hard because you really yeah. can't you can't say i, I used to be the, way or the other why well, used to be the person i'm like yo i am honest all the time yeah i'm always honest and then i started to realize like there was some fault there. Like there was some flaw in my logic there. And like, I'm, mm -hmm. I am a pretty honest person, but there are times where I like, I'm, I'm, I think it's worth it to hide the truths from people, even the people I love. And it's hard to apply like ethics to yeah. that. But I, I, I really do try with like literally all my relationships mm -hmm. and this has gotten me in trouble before. This is like, I don't know. It's just, um, it's to, to move, throughout this existence with integrity and like honesty like I, I do really find a lot of value in that yeah no same I, but i think it's hard because a lot of people can't take the truth like they think it it's you being hateful and it's not like that's never been difficult like for me criticism like for me to take it i don't think it's hard but i think for a lot of people it is how so like they think it's more of like a personal attack 
like some people that's like the if, ego yeah like if i were to sit here and be like hey i don't like this or like you could do this better or something like that then i think a lot of them take it as like damn you suck as a person like you're terrible uh uh-huh. where it's not like no like i'm trying to help you like i'm giving you constructive criticism like how to be better uh-huh. they don't see it that way they're just like you're hateful you're mean i don't like you uh uh-huh. all right cool <laughs> whatever it's like yeah it- I don't know. I, those people don't really get on my nerves because, like, I, I, I don't know. People are just like too soft sometimes. Like they take they take things too personally. There's definitely a certain personality type that I personally do not vibe with, and that's like the people that spend a lot of their free time lying to themselves, and their their yeah. inner dialogue is just built, and their their perception and concept of self is completely built up on like a facade of lies. Like those yeah. people usually fucking hate me. Why do you they think usually, that some people are like that, though? Like, what do you think drives that? I mean, maybe different circumstances in their lives that they felt they needed to come out on top of so mm-hmm. that they had to lie to themselves and, like, they wanted to see themselves in a positive light. And then, I mean, you lie to yourself once, then it becomes more of a habit. Yeah. I've never, I don't want to say never, but I, for the most part, haven't really developed the habit of, like, lying to myself or lying to other people. Mm-hmm. So I can't fully understand, like what it's like but i'm imagining it'd be like a slippery slope of like once you once you lie to somebody and you're like oh i got away with that or 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 they they think it'd be higher higher like in a better light or uh i know a lot of guys do this with girls like oh i want this then i if i can lie my way to get there then that then then, then, i mean they're literally rewarded for deception so there's definitely like an attractive element for that but uh I don't know. I feel like it comes down to like personal integrity with like, is it fucking yeah. worth it? And yeah, I agree with that. Depends on the person. Yeah. I think everything, when you really like think about it, everything depends on the person. Like it depends on how, it depends on their perspective and how they see it, how they interpret it. It's their choice. Yeah. Choice in the matter too. Yeah. Cause I know like back to your saying about like the guys, like I know a lot of like my female friends that have just like told me, like talking about guys in general how they've asked the guy like what are you looking for like whatever and it's like oh like maybe something serious like friends whatever and it's like they start hanging out with the girl and all of a sudden like they slept together and the girl's like well I didn't necessarily want to just have a hookup and like after that happens the guy never talks to her again and she's like what the heck Mm -hmm. I'm like then that goes back to what you were saying like deceit to get what they want Mm -hmm. like they play the game and like a lot of girls are oblivious to that yeah, and then they get fucked over, up. and then their guards up a lot more. Yeah, and it's like, than and then like, was, then they and turn around and be. like, then they fuck over a guy that like actually didn't have bad intentions. Like he had good mm-hmm. intentions, but they had bad experiences. See, that's a, so that's something like I've been thinking circle. about a lot lately. Let's get on this topic because okay, I know I know go. you'll like this, but just the genders like fucking each other over so much. Yeah, because no, I, I mean it hurts. It goes like, both ways. Both sides sure. like fuck each other over like, like a lot. I think a lot of people are always like guys are assholes like they're terrible like they just fuck girls over and i'm like i think girls are more malicious like for sure like girls i think have worse intentions than guys most of the time i think how so how so So i think like i think for guys it's mostly physical like Mm -hmm. guys just want to have sex i think Mm -hmm. not okay i don't want to generalize and say all guys i think most guys Mm -hmm. but i think a lot of girls it's more like they want the attention like they don't necessarily want like the sex aspect of it they want like they want the attention. They want to feel needed. They want to be put on a pedestal. Like, they want to be wanted and chased. It's mm-hmm. so, like, if they can, like, tease a guy a little bit or, like, hint at, like, a sexual relationship, the guy will, like, continue to chase them. And they get what they want. Right, yeah. So, like, it's just, like, a different want, a different desire. But I think girls are more manipulative. Like, a lot of guys To get know, that like, attention? Mm-hmm, like, I think guys are more straight up about it. Where I think is girls are more manipulative. Like, mm. I think girls are too afraid to say what they really want a lot of times. How so? Just I think like, I think a lot of girls are like not comfortable with their sexuality because of the way society portrays it. Like a guy, like mm. a guy has sex with a bunch of girls. It's like he's more manly or whatever. Like he gets girls. Whereas a girl does that, has sex with the same amount of people as a guy. It's like she's dirty. She's a hoe. Um, and it's like, so I think a lot of girls are afraid of like how they're going to be perceived by society based on their sexual actions. Okay. Yeah. So I think yeah. like, it kind of plays into what they want and how they get what they want if that makes sense and it's uh 
And neither side likes to get played with, you know? No, because everybody wants something. So, so you're saying, like, because what, what me and my friends will kind of hypothesize, and I don't know if this, this speculation is correct or not. I don't know. But, like, because like, uh, we were saying, like, oh, I feel like, like, I, I feel like a lot of people think, oh, the guy, the guy is ta- texting, like, 15 girls, and the girl texts, like, two or three quality guys. But I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like guys, guys might be, I feel like most people are texting multiple people, Yeah. which I didn't realize that until like somewhat recently in college, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I feel like most people are texting multiple people and then yeah. they, they go off of that and they're, um, and which I don't even see anything wrong with. I used to kind of, I used to kind of like, I don't know. I think it's just the culture we have here in college. Mm-hmm. It's like the hookup college is definitely hookup culture. I think mm-hmm. more than any other like age group for sure. No, oh, yeah, totally. And so I think that factors into it. Like but personally, you, like I don't care. How many how many people do you think average girls? Just in general, like what? How many how many guys do you think girls are texting? Like, like on consistently, average? you're just because I know like I'll talk to people like once or twice and it's like you're boring i don't really want to talk to you like i don't uh-huh. entertain it like I'll, like i'm not gonna be rude and just like ignore them but i'm not gonna entertain the conversation more than i would somebody else like has good conversation okay so you're talking like people i actually consistently talk to or just like anybody in general like any type Ooh. of communication uh it's consistent consistent and not even just you like like generally speaking i know this this is gonna differentiate like depending on the female but yeah. like like, what would you I don't say? Know. I know for me personally, like, I think I talk to probably, like, two or three guys, like, consistently. But they're okay. not, they're not like, necessarily, like, a sexual or romantic relationship. Like, mm-hmm. some of them are friendly. I mean, some of them are not. But some of them are. So, it's, like, it depends, I think, like you said, on the girl and the person. And I think it depends on the relationship. Okay, absolutely. But, like, I don't really have a lot of guy friends. Like, I, ha- I mean, I have guy friends. But, like. I don't talk to them on a daily basis. I have a lot of like super low maintenance friendships where it's like we talk every couple of months and it's like, hey, how's life? What's new? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Are you good? And then like we'll go like months without talking and we just do the same thing. It's like, like I know I have one friend and we'll talk and it's like he'll, he'll talk to me and be like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like nothing, just hanging out. What's up? And like he'll call me and be like telling me all his shit that he's got going on in his life. Like he's in a tough spot, whatever. And, like, we work through it. Like, I give him advice, talk to him, and then don't talk again until, like, the next thing comes up. So, like, a lot, I think it's just, like, a lot of my friendships are like that. Like, I don't really have friends I talk to every day other than probably, like, two or three. Okay. So, I think it, it, it depends. But I'd say probably, like, at least for just, like, a general average, I'd say probably, like, four or five at least maybe. Because we were talking about this this one night, but, like, I've noticed, uh, like, I feel like the the – paradigm most people like kind of see the world as is like especially in high school like girls always want the relationship guys just want to have fun Mm -hmm. that's like how a lot of people kind of see it and then and then like it kind of switches up in college like you were saying like girls just want to have fun yeah and then like i feel like excuse me i feel like most guys kind of hit this point like talking amongst a lot of my buddies to where like freshman year sophomore year you kind of want to have fun but some somewhere later in college a lot of people Mm kind of have this like switch up and they're like like, you know, some like having something like more real would be a lot more fun. But then yeah. like the girls are behind mm-hmm. and then it's just like, it's like, oh, it's so you paradoxical. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like the guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a switch roles. Like the back in high school, the guy was on like the fun side and didn't experience mm-hmm. what it's like. And then they switch it up and then the girl doesn't want it. And it's like, and then the guy's just like, fuck, like now I want this. And like, they don't even want it. So it's just like this weird yeah, I don't know. At both sides get to experience like uh, I don't know the shitty and the fun side. I guess. Yeah, I can understand that because I know, for me personally in high school, like I dated a guy and, like, I never was really interested in just like hanging out with just, like a bunch of random dudes. It's like I'm still not like I'm just gonna hang out with some random dude. But I think now like I'm less inclined to want a relationship with somebody just because I'm so focused on my education and like what I want to do. Okay. Like I'm more focused on like building my life before I try and impact somebody else's life or like help somebody grow their life. Like I need to establish myself, my life, my career Mm. before I do that for somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. I also wonder if it comes down to like the ego or like the popularity. Because I know in high school, I feel like my high school at least, I feel like was the males. Like the male sports are always more popular, more supported. 
Yeah, so it's like, definitely. So, like, the guy athletes, they're all, like, they're star. Like, they're popular. Everybody knows them. Whereas, like, in college, I feel like it's not really one gender over the other. I think it just kind of goes by the sport. Okay. And I feel like the girls know they're going to be chased in college. So, I feel like that kind of plays a part into it, too. Like, they just play the game to get the attention that they want. What do you mean? Like, if a girl goes to a party, she may not go with the intention of hooking up with somebody, but she knows she's going to get the attention. Mm -hmm. That's really maybe all that she wants. She just wants the attention from somebody. Like, she wants to feel wanted. Mm -hmm. So that attention satisfies that craving. And that's it. Like, that's all she needs. Like, she she doesn't need, like, a whole relationship. She she can just go out to parties every weekend and get the same satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Not be in a relationship. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thought. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's just like guys are just not wired that way. Like I give two fucks like about the <laughs> yeah. the attention element. Or, yeah. I mean they're definitely like uh I guess uh evolutionary adaptations. Mm-hmm. Like based on like different agendas depending upon uh gender. Like that yeah. d- that definitely makes sense like the woman I don't know, I've had this explained to me. Like so like the guy, the guy wants to have sex with as many girls as possible because then he increases his chance of like producing genetic offspring and then the girl right. wants to like have like more of a secured connection with that guy mm-hmm. so that she has him so that she has access to the male resources like once she's like pregnant yeah and it gives from like a very uh like hunter gatherer point of view like whenever you're on the savannah out in africa <laughs> yeah x amount of years ago or whatever so no i agree with that <laughs> and i think it's also goes back to i think like the cheating thing we were talking about that one night when we were talking about the same topic was I think when males cheat, I think it's predominantly just physical. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it's necessarily like, I mean, there's like goes case by case, I guess. Like there are some guys that feel like, I guess they lack the emotional support. So they cheat. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of it is predominantly physical. Yeah. That's there was a, and like females, it's predominantly emotional. Like females, mm-hmm. I feel like have affairs. Whereas guys, I feel like have more of just like, a one night stand or like a one time thing. Right. Yeah. Or as females, it's like a consistent thing with the same person because it's more emotional. Yep. Which I also think is kind of weird to think about. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Like why, why is it like that? What makes it that way? I guess if you go back to like the hunters and gatherers, like what you're talking about, that makes sense when you think about it that way. Uh, Yeah. Apparently guys get more, upset when girls have like sex with another guy and then yeah. girls get more upset whenever like g- guys develop like a like an emotional relationship with I've another heard that. girl yeah i have heard that which is weird it is weird to think about hmm. do you want to call us quits on here in a little bit or what are yeah. you thinking yeah i'm good i'm just like gonna blow my nose really bad <laughs> okay. that's like a shit like that's a, that's such a bullshit excuse and i will like We're good. humbly admit that's a bullshit excuse but We're good. Cool. Did you yeah. have fun? Yeah. Wait, I want to show you these one. real quick. Yeah, too. I was excited. I was kind of nervous though. First of all, why do you even have those? Did you see these before? No. I know uh, you told me you're like, oh, I have to show you something. Yeah. This, you is, what, this is what I want to show you. These are why? like brass knuckles. I know what they are. Oh, why? you do? <laughs> oh, they have skulls on them. That's cool though. I do like that. I I got in this phase where I like see those nunchucks up there. Like yeah. I bought those nunchucks, and then I bought why? these and some Chinese throwing stars. Just I was like into like weird weapons at the time. <laughs> And I just bought random shit, but I would like punch fruit with this, and like th- it's kind of fun because like the fruit just like fucking explodes on impact, yeah, which is cool. And then, uh, yeah, it's a it's fun. Just like walk around the house, like, oh, I'm out of fruit. Let me go buy some more. So I can go home, like punch it. <laughs> go destroy the fruit. It'd usually be like old apples or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we used to do that but, when I was a kid. We would uh, so like my uncle, he has there's like family property in Kansas City. Uh-huh. And um there's like an apple tree or something, some sort of fruit tree. And that yeah. fourth of July we all go up there and like put bottle rockets in the fruit and just like blow up all the fruit. No way. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's badass. It's yeah. It's pretty fun. But yeah, those are cool. <laughs> that's a lot cooler than uh, uh, like you're not it. strike me as somebody that would have these though. Yeah, I don't even like consider them like to be something like a weapon I'm thinking about using. It's just like it's like oh shit. Like I I do you own those now? I, I found them the other day when I was at home. They're I found like them chilling. for the first time. Yeah, I haven't seen those in years. I like the skulls though. That's kind of cool. I'm yeah, like, kind of really, Not that I've seen like an abundance of brass knuckles, but I like the skulls. But yeah, I pretty much only bought these for fun. Just you know, I'm not like planning on like 
You don't strike me as somebody that's like them. super hostile, so I wasn't nah, that worried really. about it. I do like martial arts though, but I know. think we've talked about that. Like you were into martial arts for quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not good at them though. My okay, so my grandma, she's uh, she's Korean, and she was like some sort of like martial arts instructor. I don't know what type, like what kind. I don't no, know huh? like the name of it. Yeah, and my mom uh, competed for a long time. What are you Korean? No. She's like my step grandma. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, no. I don't see it. Like, no. I don't see it <laughs> no, at all. No. I was like, it's got to be. I, I'm like maybe one eighth, like no, something like no, something really small. But no, okay. No, she uh, she married my my great grandpa. Yeah. No, oh, nice. He served in the Korean War and he met her in Korea. Oh, nice. And then, wow. like, brought her back over. Wow. And yeah, yeah. So she's my step. North or south? Great grandma. I guess that was in the fifties, right? So that she's probably before even that. Honestly, I couldn't tell you which part she's from. Uh huh. Don't know. I've never asked. Shame, shame. I know. I'm a shame, shame. Page a page. Grandchild. I know. Okay. Cool. Well. All right. Any last words? No. That's any it. last words? No. Thanks no? for having me. It was fun. You enjoy this? It was cool. Yeah. We have good conversation. I feel like any time that we just like sit and chat. I enjoy this too. Yeah. It's always, like, I enjoy this too. Decent conversation. Like makes you think. I'm also thirsty, and I have no water to drink. I know. My water, like, tastes weird, so. Because it's cancer it water. It is cancer water. <laughs> I don't want that cancer water. What? Well, okay, like, when you go to take a drink, like, you can almost, like, smell the chemicals in the plastic. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you so noticed gross. that or not, but you uh, can, like, it smells not the way, it, like, it smells super unhealthy. Yeah, I'm not so smelling I'm not it. Even <laughs> anymore, but, but, yeah. All right, all right cool. cool. We, we just said all right, cool at the same time. Jinx. Yeah, there we go. All right, deuces.